Georgia has had 17 first round draft picks in the Kirby Smart era, 10 of which were defensive players. Is Michael Williams defensive end going to be one of the next first round draft picks for this Georgia defense? Let's dive into the tape and talk about this player, all the things that he can do to not only get better, but can improve upon the things that he already does well and get that pass rush plan and combine it with his elite level run defense to be a complete defensive end, not just for this season for Georgia, but in the NFL. And when we look at defensive ends, the, the ability to stop the run, set the edge, and identify where the run is going are top level things, and he does all of them already. So you see him out here on the right-hand side of the offensive line, and this is all about getting into the tackle, stacking, maybe shedding if you need to, but identifying where the rusher is going. So you're going to see Williams get off the ball right here, get his hands in the chest a little bit high for my liking, but the reason he is there is so that he can get his eyes into the backfield. So first and foremost, the mesh point for the offense right here, running back is going laterally. He's going to the outside. So Williams has his eyes in the backfield to see if this is an inside run. If it's not, he's in a perfect position to then change his direction. So right there, again, eyes in the backfield, in the backfield looking. Quarterback doesn't have the football. I'm going to flash outside. Boom, right there. This is exactly what you want. Good stance, able to get under here anchored with his, uh, his arms, right arm in the chest of the tackle, flash to the outside. Make that running back think, I can be right here. If you take this to the outside, I'm going to tackle you. And then boom. And then he finishes this playoff. He's like, that tackle starts to get a little bit more in his face there. So he takes him and throws him off, shows off a little bit of torque and power that he has. So the ability to stay right here with this rep, be able to make a play for your other teammates is hugely important for being able to set the edge and then being able to do it for yourself. So right here on the right-hand side, again, the offensive line, getting into the tackle, but this time closing for the, for the tackle himself on the running back. Eyes in the backfield, sees the mesh point to the inside, waits for it, and this time he gets underneath the tackle. So he dips his left shoulder underneath, pulls the tackle through, so he goes up field one. He, know, he understands he has the time to be able to do this with the running back coming to the inside. So just in case he pops this outside, he's able to recover, and that's exactly what he does. Running back sees defensive players in the middle of the offensive line, Pops this outside. Williams does a fantastic job of stacking, shedding, boom, and he's underneath and takes this guy for a, almost no gain on the play. As a run defender, he has a high football IQ. We just saw him hit his ability to stack, shed, identify where the run is going, and then flash to the outside, forcing a running back to the inside to his help. Everything you want to see from a run defender, and he can absolutely continue to do that at the next level. So, the strength and the power, the torque that we just witnessed from a rush, a running stop, a run stopping perspective, Williams does all in the pass rush as well. Play action pass here from Florida State, and he does a really nice job of essentially being offended that they want to line him up against a tight end and say, you thinking he can block him. So only one thing I'd like to clear up from him is just hand usage a little bit quicker and more, I guess, violent in situations like this where you feel disrespected so identifies that play first to you know the play action pass first eyes inside running back doesn't have the football so i'm going to take this defense or excuse me this tackle into the backfield but there's that well first push off with his left hand push back bully this tack tight end into the tackle or the help blocker on that side and then he's impacting the game at a different rate right it's not just a pressure it's not just a hurry it's not moving the quarterback out of the pocket it's a pass deflection He's got the length, he has the hand size, all of those really innate things that make guys like Chris Jones at the next level being huge, big bodied guys. You know, he's listed at 6'5, 265 pounds. He could even put on more weight to be even more imposing as a pass rusher and run defender. So he's got that length, the ability to get passes deflected. So all of those things talked about right here, you see Michael Williams on the inside in that four eye get off the ball a little bit faster. The inconsistency in his get off is one of the biggest problems in his game right now because there are flashes of speed, which we're about to get to. But this play could have been prevented in my mind. You have uh, Quinshawn Judkins coming out here. But watch everybody else. Everyone else is starting to get off the ball here. We're all moving. We're all moving. We still got a hand in the dirt. And it's like he's being reactionary. He's waiting for the offensive line to get after him. And if he would have just gotten, I think, into the backfield, 
or what he did on that uh, this the first play where he's really in the gap and he's flashing to the outside give himself keeping that outside hand free he could have done a much better job and prevented this touchdown most likely so here he gets into the end of the guard and he's got both hands inside first and foremost you want to be on the outside again especially for these outside runs he's looking in the backfield so he wants to be able to easily get here which from this position he's not going to be able to do but if he would have gotten off the ball gotten in to that b gap and kept his outside hand free while engaging with his left arm that probably doesn't happen and this touchdown it doesn't happen so consistency with his get off is one of the more important aspects because here you're going to see from another inside rush perspective where you have three down defensive linemen for Georgia, he's going to shoot that B-gap, get up field, get held in the process, and end up making essentially what should have been a sack for him. He doesn't get credit for it here. But that get-off, he does have the ability to just get in the gap. So one, he times it right. You can see him kind of leaning. I think that's one of his problems as well. Whether it's lining up as a, in a two-point stance or in a three-point stance, he does get a little jittery when looking – to get off the football when he thinks he knows what the snap count is he will either start to move forward or he'll lean but right here he does a nice job of getting his shoulder underneath the arm he's going to dip his right arm so he can almost crowbar underneath with that and get into the b gap get after the quarterback and then this play's blown up from the beginning they have that help blocker coming over and he just blows it up like there's there's nothing that Joe Milton can do here he's just trying to get out and unfortunately for him he slips and the sack doesn't go to Williams which it should have but all, all things considered you know right there the inconsistency in that get off is where I think can be you can make a lot of improvement in your pass rush game and we saw even against the run that makes an impact and he's going to be able I think with more more effort in that being able to stay down coiled up things that he does on an inconsistent basis he'll have much more production with that. So we can hear from the outside in almost a seven rushing alignment. He's going to be attacking upfield quickly, trying to get this tackle to open the shoulders so he can dip inside this B gap because we're going to see a big wide open B gap and he doesn't threaten it enough. So he doesn't get off the ball as quickly as you want to. And he's already setting up with a really big outside step, this inside counter. Because obviously you see that the, the B gap is wide, wide open. So you have a slide to the right from the Tennessee offensive line. It uh, looks like Williams thought figured out that was coming based on where the defensive alignment is here. And he does a, a good job of trying to get back to the inside with that swim move that he's got. But he's unable to really get the tackle to turn his shoulders all the way. And then he's almost a little stiff and limited with the lateral agility. So I think his ankle flexion might need to have a little bit of improvement. So when he's countering inside or when he wants to really get down the edge if he's coming upfield here right uh, on this side of the field get his foot down and then corner when you when you can have that ankle flexion that allows you to really put your foot in the dirt and get downfield with acceleration he can create a lot more pressures that way so he still moves Milton off the spot a little bit with that inside counter the pass rush move there the wherewithal to understand that that offensive line sliding to the to the to his left and to Try to stress, stress the outside, get back into it, is something that he's going to be able to improve upon. So bottom of your screen here, you're going to see him lined up wide a little bit, more of a seven-ish again, maybe a wide nine for this angle, given that the, there's a tight end right there. So we've seen now inside counter pass rush move. We've seen a little bit of a swim. We've got a long arm coming at this time. So this is where I'd love to see him get to those counters a little quicker. Use more violent hand movement. We saw that against the tight end as well, where he just bull rushes him into the back, where he tries to really torque him off initially and then stops really trying to work his hand. So right here, there comes the lean in. Nice job here. Speed to power. Lean in. Extend with that arm and then get off the block. Disengage. Use your arm. Use your right arm to push. Maybe pull him down and get after the quarterback, where instead he kind of leans more into the tackle there and doesn't extend the play he doesn't really get to the quarterback there so there's a lot of tools a lot of athletic ability all the power and the raw I think attributes with his frame and his length to be able to get after the quarterback there work the hands a little bit more get that swipe or a slap rip whatever you have to do to continue push pull all that stuff I'd like I really like to see him do more of the push pull that we saw in that run clip in the pass rush department because I think it could be extremely effective for him 
A little bit of speed to power from him in this situation. Again, coiled up really nice, low to the ground, get off, come up, bull rush, extend. I know, we, I know the tackle trips over the guard's foot here, but watch how quickly he's going to press off the tackle. So he comes in and presses off. He gets his hands off him immediately, and that's exactly what you want to see. So when you can do that, you can work so many different things off of it. It's a very quick push, and then his hands are off of you, whether it's rip under or swim over, swipe, whatever you have to do. You can really continue to do that. And one of the most impactful ways that uh, Micah Williams affected the passer was again was in stunts. Georgia uses a lot of stunts in their run game and in their pass rush department here, all the way to the opposite B gap where he's just going to close on the quarterback for the sack and then he gets the fumble in the process. So he's going to be a very useful player for Georgia. He has so many different things that they do and that he does well that are going to be impacted not just for this year, but going into the NFL. He has a high, high football IQ. They ask him to do a lot, and he can handle it. So all of this being said, there are some areas that he's going to have to improve upon to get better, but we've seen guys like Trayvon Walker, who was a Georgia player, get into the NFL, and it takes a little bit of time to develop. This is an opportunity for him taking on more of a role in his junior year to be able to be a much more impactful player. In Georgia, for Georgia in 2024. I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. If you're interested in seeing another person's perspective, Keith Sanchez did a breakdown on Michael Williams. You can go into the TDN website and read all about him from his angle. See what I think. See what he thinks to come to your guys' own conclusions. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that sub button. Hit the like on the way out. And I'll see you guys next time.